Greeting hunters, today I will show you some of my insect glaive builds that I like to take to hunt with me. So get some popcorns, be comfortable and enjoy. Welcome back hunters. The insect glaive is a fast fluid weapon with unmatched aerial ability. On the ground attack, insect glaive may many different combos, however the weapon truly shines when the pole vault ability is used. The hunter can pole vault anytime to launch themselves in the air and from there you can use a lot of lot more combos for a successful hunt. If the air attack hits the monster, the dash attack resets and you can keep attacking the monster as long as you have enough stamina or you can use a drop attack. So with that in mind, let's go for our first build. For this build, I'm using Safi Saturn Spear with Affinity, Defense and Health Augmentation with 3 level 5 increased affinity, 1 level 4 increased affinity and a slot upgrade level 2. Mere attack of 837, white sharpness, 60% affinity and a blast element of attack 180 and it also gives me plus 15 defense. For this build I'm using golden loon helm beta, curing jacket beta, fell shroud braces beta, fell shroud coil beta and sarah invelder grace alpha. As a jewel, so I'm using hard defense jewel uh, level 4, protection jewel level 1, recovery jewel level 4, critical jewel level 2, critical physic jewel level 4, sharp jewel level 2, expert jewel level 4, protection jewel level 1, recovery jewel level 1, destroyer vitality jewel 4, critical jewel 2, expert jewel 1, another expert jewel 1, and a medicine jewel 1. So if we can combine everything together, I'll have critical eye level 6, defense boost 5, blast attack 5, health boost 3, recovery up 3, recovery speed 3, critical boost 3, part breaker 3, divine blessing 3, speed eating 2, constitution 1, protective polish 1. As set bonus skill, I always have foul hazard super recovery skill which is very comfortable in the game and you can hunt with it anywhere really, uh, it just saves your life literally. And having all the armors and weapons together, I'll have an attack of 884, white sharpness, 90% affinity and 240 plus attack and defense of 1126. You can see it's a very defensive weapon. Uh, is, is very strong against all the elements tiny bit of weight against fire so hunters that was my first build and it's very comfortable build against all the monsters um, I normally sometimes change some jewels around here and there to uh, use it in a guiding land but rather than that it is the best build um, for myself uh, so you can try it as of my second build, it uh, is exactly the same as the first build um, where I'm using the same weapon as Selfish Satin Spear with um, Affinity Defense and Health Augmentation with 3 Affinity Increase um, level 5, uh, 1 Affinity Increase level 4 and uh, Slot Upgrade level 2. As of armor, I'm using exactly the same um, as I used before, so I don't need to change that. But uh, there are a few changes on the jewel, so I'll just go over that really quick. Um, I'm using the hard defense jewel 4, protection jewel level 1, recovery jewel 4, expert jewel 1, fight handicraft jewel 4, sharp jewel 2, expert jewel 4, protection jewel 1, recovery jewel 1, destroyer or vitality jewel 4. Attack Jaw 1, Expert Jaw 1, Expert Jaw 1, and Medicine Jaw 1. 
Again, putting everything together, I'll have critical eye level 7, defense boost 5, blast attack 4, health boost 3, recovery up 3, recovery speed 3, part breaker 3, define blessing 3, speed eating 2, attack boost 1, handicraft 1, airborne 1, and protective polish 1. Putting everything together, that gives me an attack of 846, white sharpness, 100% affinity as I said, uh, 240 plus element, it's very defensive, it's still again uh, 1096, uh, very strong against all the elements, water, thunder, ice, dragon, a little bit weaker against fire. If you like the first two builds, you'll definitely love this build because this is my favorite build out of all of them. Um, for this one, I'm using Savvy Bind Spare uh, with the uh, Attack Increase 5, uh, Gold Wrath in Essence, Affinity Increase 6, Attack Increase 5, and Sharpness Increase 5, which gives me a total attack of 899, White Sharpness to the end, Affinity of 20%. Paralysis uh, element 90 and obviously one slot for the slot upgrade. As of armors, I'm using a golden loon helm beta, green jacket beta, bell shroud braces beta, bell shroud coil beta, and serene velder graves alpha. And those armors slotted with hard defense jaw 4, recovery jaw 4, expert jaw 1. Flight Handicraft Jaw 4, Sharp Jaw 2, Expert Jaw 4, Protection Jaw 1, Recovery Jaw 1, Destroyer Vitality Jaw 4, Attack Jaw 1, Expert Jaw 1, Expert Jaw 1, and Medicine Jaw 1. After combining everything, you'll get Critical Eye Level 7, Defense Boost Level 5, Divine Blessing Level 5, Health Boost Level 3, Recovery Up Level 3, Recovery Speed Level 3, Part breaker uh, level 3, speed 18 2, attack boost 1, handicraft 1, airborne 1, and protective polish 1. And there is some interesting facts with this build. When you uh, put all the arms together, you'll get a side bonus skill of Gold Wrath Innocence, which gives you two more Divine Blessings secret, which um, you get a total of 5 altogether. Uh, as a Armors um, gives you uh, super recovery, which is a true defense, and it'll be nearly impossible to faint in middle of hunt. And now, time for some boring stats again. Where are the attacks? 908, white sharpness, 60% affinity, 90% element, defense of 1079, and it is very strong against all the elements again, and a uh, little bit weak against fire lastly thank you all hunters for taking time for watching my video i want to know which build you like most by commenting down below i'll keep the rest of the gameplay running for you to watch how i killed namio and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get all the latest content um, and the notifications when i upload new videos so thank you again guys for watching my videos.